is Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create movie locks in Vegas Pro 16. Now, with Vegas Pro 16, there are so many different ways to create movie locks. However, the one I'm going to be showing you in this video is using a new feature in Vegas Pro 16. It's probably going to be the most easiest way you can achieve film locks and at a really high quality. With that being said, expect more videos on film locks itself because I can think about three or four other different versions on how to do this. Now I'd also like to apologize because I know a lot of you have been asking for the new motion track feature and to be honest I tried making a video on this a couple of days ago and every time I got to the final step Vegas kept crashing. However I am expecting a boxed version of Vegas to come which should hopefully fix everything and also there will be a Vegas Pro 16 boxed version worldwide giveaway happening soon. Now just before I get into the tutorial as always if this tutorial does help you make sure you hit the like button and also hit subscribe. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and as you can see on the screen we currently have a video up in our project and you can see it's just a clip in the car driving down a road. Now first thing you can tell there's a lot of greenery, the clouds are grey, however this can look a lot better if we have a nice colour grade over it and of course make all these colours pop. Now in order to do that we're going to have some film effects on this and it's really really simple. So you're going to head over to video effects and from here you're going to select auto locks. Now auto locks is one of the newest features to Vegas Pro 16 and it is phenomenal. Now for those that watched my first video in Vegas Pro 16 when I first tried this and dragged and dropped it onto a clip it didn't work. However you can see it is now working and if you are dragging and dropping it onto your clip and it's not working all I done was restarted Vegas and then it started working. If it still doesn't work for you then I just advise you to contact Vegas direct. However, as you can see, I've put on the look conception and straight away the atmosphere or the overall feel of the video has changed. Now, you may not like it and that is completely fine. What we get control of is the strength. So that's how strong this tint or this color overlay will look. So I can turn that tint down. You can see that's just under halfway. So we still get a color and this is without it and this is with it. So you can see it does make a dramatic difference and of course it's really really simple really quick to make as well. Now let's say you don't like conception that is completely fine where it says look you can come here and of course we have all these other ones to pick through so we can say Crime City for example. Crime City probably one of my favorite ones so if I just play from the beginning you can see only certain colors do show and I believe it is red that shows the most so it's like the Sin City effect which I've shown you in the past. So that's a really cool effect. Again, you can control the strength and you can see just like that, most of it's gray, but then also like the orange is now popping out and a bit of the green as well. But to be honest, there is no right or wrong for this part. Everything from here is all personal preference. How you like it, you pick it. How you want the intensity, again, it's how you want it. I can't give you a right or wrong. Everyone's clip is going to be different everyone wants a different feeling or mood to come across in the videos and of course doing it this way is going to make you save so much more time and of course you're doing it all in a very quick and simple format. So I'm actually going to be picking Nemesis simply because it gives like a moody feel, it's darkened all the shadows which looks really nice so I'm going to X out of that, I'll play it from the beginning. You can see this is what we have, I'm going to keep the intensity up at 100 and that is that part done. Now one effect I do recommend for you to add on as well just to create more creative control for yourself is brightness and contrast. So you can drag on the default and you can see we can control the brightness, contrast and the contrast center. To be honest only the brightness and contrast is what you'll need to be controlling. Contrast center you can leave the same. So I can bring that up a bit if I wanted to. I can bring up the contrast a bit more and you can see it just creates more of this uh, cartoon look now. And again, it is completely optional to what type of mood you're looking for. And there is no right or wrong. This is all your creativity coming into this. You pick how you like it. You pick what you want. Now, I'm going to be showing you one final thing to add on to your video to, of course, get that movie look. And that is the black bars. Now, you're not going to be doing this using the pan and crop, which is a very old school way to do it. Instead, you're going to right click and insert a video track, which is above this video. Now in the description, I will have this linked for you to go ahead and save. 
and you're just going to be adding this image on. So it is a PNG image, meaning there's going to be nothing in the middle. However, these black bars at the top will appear in order to give this cinematic look. And you can see straight away, this has made a dramatic difference. One thing I would like to point out, don't add any effects onto the black bar itself. For example, if I come here and add on brightness and contrast onto the black bars, say when I bring up the brightness, you can see they're no longer black bars, it just ruins it. So all the effects, add it directly onto the video only, not onto the black bars. Again, a link to it will be in the description, 100% free of course, just right click it and save it.